Hello guys and welcome to the daily work. I know it's been quite a while. Not gonna probably say a word. But a lot of good stuff's happened, so thank God for that. But today I'm just gonna do another verse of the day and I haven't done one for a while but this battle verse I think it's gonna stir your heart. And it's Jeremiah chapter twenty nine verse 11 it says for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future it's a parable right that's my thing it's pretty much saying that it's like it's not you declaring declaring that that there's a plan for you in this world it's the law it's God, the Lord, created the entire universe saying, saying, I know the plans I have for you. I know your future. I know all the great things you're going to do. And he says his intentions, it also shows his intentions. He plans to, to prosper you, like, look out and not to harm you. He's on your side. He's, he's, he's with you in that, in the war and the struggles you're going against. The Lord, God is with you. And he says, plans to give you hope and a future. Hope of joy, that of knowledge, that the hope, like as Christian kids who, that their schools, or loads of people, must, their schools become Christians. That hope that you all don't, when you go to school, you don't feel like you're the only Christian. That you want that hope. And, and then it says, plans to give you hope. And a future. He doesn't just plan plan for you now. He's planning great things for you now. But he's planning for you ahead. He's not just saying you can only do great things now. And in the future you're done. And he's not saying you can't do great things now. And in the future you can. He's saying you, you can do great things all the time. You can do great things in your school. In your communities. Whatever experience you're going through. You can do great things for the Lord. And I was at this uh, holiday called One Event, and it was a Christian holiday, and it's kind of, and they told me about a song that's a year later heard called History Maker, which kind of shows that they are going to be history makers, and that's, I feel like this Bible verse is kind of centred around that, because even so, you may never be on TV or anything, but if you're working for God's plan for you, then you're, you're making history for all the Christians in the world. Which I think is quite powerful. So it's basically the Lord saying, like, you need to trust Him with the plan. Because if you go with your plan, it's not going to be anywhere near as good as God's plan. So if you go with the Lord, you have to trust God that He's going to give you the, you know, the the plan for you, and He's going to stay with you for those hard times, and and be and you be fully blessed Him, and other people around you get blessed because He. It says something in the Bible verse of Numbers about Caleb. I might do that as my next verse. Well, it doesn't just affect him when he's full of the Holy Spirit. It affects everyone around him. It affects, like, it, as a kid, we want it to go affect our school. Like I was mentioning that one of the, like, when we want it to affect our school. So, like, ten years' time, it might be normal to worship Jesus before the day of school starts, which would be a great school, by the way. So, so it's kind of saying that it doesn't, your plan for you, it doesn't only make, impact you fully of the spirit, it impacts everyone around you from now to the future, but you just don't know it yet, but God knows it. So yeah, I've, so I feel that's kind of wraps it up, that you need to trust God with your plan, because God's going to know your plan, bet, and get a better plan than you ever have. And it's also saying that, uh, and you need to remember that the, what you do in your future, that, as a Christian, doesn't just affect you, it affects everyone around you. So when God does something amazing for you, it doesn't just affect you, it affects everyone around you. And from now to the future, and you won't, you won't realise it until it happens, but it will, it will have an impact. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys!